Ha ha ha, welcome back to Blood Omen, the legacy of Cain. And so we're that back. Place. And With so I left the place. Sort of I'm gonna talk over Kane. <laughs> <laughs> no, guys, we're back. We're playing. We haven't played and this in a while. With an ally yeah, it's been some time. Uh, so if I remember correctly, we left off. We had killed um, Vorador. The axes. No, we didn't kill Vorador. We just kind of chat with him while he was sitting at a table. And he says he want to help us out. <clears throat> he said to stay for his buffet. Yeah, and it was just like a bunch of dead people. Yeah. But it was limbs and and a head and, and eyeballs and a yeah, bowl. And it was nice, a buffet. Perfect for Christmas time, guys, right? And like, we're like, what game should we play at Christmas? How about the bloodiest game? Uh, well, I would say this game is pretty bloody, but it's also like from 1996, I believe. So probably the graphics aren't that graphic, right? Let's see, can I turn into a wolf with the... Oh, yeah, look at that. We well, do Scratchy see spewing scratch. blood, you see that? Yeah, I guess so. They really wanted to go like... Silicon Knights was like, we want to go graphic with this game. This is not your dad. <laughs> this is not a baby game for babies to play. This is serious stuff. So they did, and they went super gory. But it's kind of almost gory to the point where it's like funny. Like um, a bit comical, you think? Yeah, kind of like Evil Dead style, where it's like, okay, this is so over the top that it's like funny, right? Well, I mean, there's worse stuff now, I would think, right? Yeah, I would <laughs> really think. detailed. Yeah, now they got... It's like, it's if detailed. you do it too gory, it's like not realistic, right? Um, what's the goriest movie you've ever seen? Iron Sword. Uh, I would say that... Uh, in my travel, it called Dead I Alive? Oh my brain. god. Dead Alive. Also called Brain Here Dead in New Zealand. Brain Dead? Yeah, that's what <laughs> that dark Yeah, that's pretty born. gruesome right Oh there. my god. It's kind of funny, though. It is Peter... But it's pretty... Um, it's Peter oh. Jackson's first... No, second movie, I think he did. Or third, maybe it may have been the third, his third movie, but Peter Jackson of Lord of the Rings fame. So you probably know him from his big series of movies, like Lord of the Rings and King Kong and all that. He did a movie, like when he was first starting out, called Dead Alive. Um, I believe it was only released in New Zealand and then eventually released in the US with like on VHS only or something. Yeah, and it's a it's hard to find. We got lucky we found that one, right? Yeah, it's like a super rare VHS yeah. or DVD. The DVD oh, yeah. is even harder. They sell like bootleg DVDs. Um, not the same. Yeah, it's just not the same. Uh, uh, He's just blatantly killing ladies. Well, they were trying to slap me. Like, look, these guys are not trying to slap me, so I'm I mean, leaving them alone. That's not even harmful, a slap in the face. Wow. Yeah, they're very anti-vampire, those ladies. Just because I'm killing every peop all the people I see, they're like, oh, we got to stop this. I don't like this. Uh, watch, I'm going to mind control this guy. And then smack They're like, bitch open. slapping you because you're ugly. Uh, I guess I can't do that. All right, I'll just die. <laughs> I guess in order to get that barrel, I have to jump over the bar and go over here and be like, oh, I'm going to get the barrel this way. What's in here? Better be something good. Oh, it's an energy ball. Okay, I guess that's good because you were like perked up there. Yeah. <laughs> that's a uh, energy ball is what I call my testicles. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Don't unsubscribe. It was a one-time joke. I'm not going to do dumb, dirty jokes like that anymore. <laughs> <clears throat> These are my energy balls, baby. <laughs> if you ever said that to a woman, I think she would just run out of your room and be like, I've made a terrible mistake. I do not want to sleep with you. <laughs> I mean, why is that That's... any worse than calling your penis something, right? What do you call my penis? What, really? <laughs> I don't have a name Freddy. for it. Freddy. <laughs> um, I, I call my penis... Just push her to the side. Um, um, how about, like... You're really thinking hard about this, George. Uh, I can't think of it. <laughs> There's, there's a lot of names for penises, right? Like, where did I mean, Johnson come from? Who was like, I know, I shall call it a Johnson. <laughs> who is, that reminds me of like the... Oh my God, I'm stuck. Get out of here. Okay, um, I need to chop down this tree. What'd you call it? Austin Powers. Oh, yeah. The that skit whole with the big... skit with everybody but calling like Johnson. Different... It looks like, uh, and then they're like, cock. And then it's like two guys cock fighting or something. And they're like, <laughs> or whatever. You um, forgot the whole scene. 
It was something like that. Yeah, I know. Just get wordplay right there. Yeah, they did it. Then they had, did it with boobs in the second one, and they had less names for boobs, which was interesting. I guess there's not that many. Huh? Look at these guys. Wait till you see these disgusting guys we're going to have to fight against. All right, so there's this guy. He's pretty gross. Um... And I'm like, okay, he's kind of good. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. The button controls <laughs> for this is kind of confusing. All right, one thing that's annoying, my my gripe with um, Blood Omen, is that you have to go back to the menu to switch weapons, which is really annoying because you can't see. This guy, he's fucking monstrous. Like, I don't know what the is fuck this like thing a, is. Is he like a leech or he's like a slug? slug. He's going to shoot until he explodes. Wow, those are chunks. <laughs> Chunky slug man. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, don't make fun of my wake guys. Why do you call that a wretch? To think it was once human. And that was human? Both of those things are human? like, I just want a hug. Why you blow me up? <laughs> oh, man. I just want love, mommy. ...that had been spawned by this dark magic. Things half insect and half mammal. Human uh, torsos grafted yeah. onto abominations yeah, like of the flesh. Vomiting so, on you. Yeah, this is, he, he'll poison you, so you gotta watch out for that shit, created. because his poison is no joke. Uh, uh, man. Yeah. He's not leaving snail trails around. <laughs> <laughs> Only when he's aroused. <laughs> Only when he's like, when you get that right spot or he sees like Ryan Gosling on TV. He's like, ooh, sexy. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Yeah, when was the last time he was in something? Ryan Gosling? He was in. Good question. What was the last movie he was in? We didn't see him in something recently. We did? Oh, yeah. Yeah. The blood of ages flows so sweet. Come. So Come sweet. drink from us. Your magic energy recovers more quickly. For our blood enhances. Oh, oh they're back. waiting for you. Yeah. The response. Oh, my God. Chop that tree. Oh, there's a tunnel. They oh, cover a lot boy. of space there. Yeah. So what <laughs> they're so big. What you do is when you're, like, surrounded by a lot of people. I don't know if you remember this move, the 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 blood, um, you can just suck everyone dry. Oh wait, no, I can't because I have the axes. Ah, this is what I was talking about annoying menus. Oh my god, click this, click this. Take click, it, take this. it, take it. Suck them dry. Ew, why would you want to <laughs> suck these guys? That's true. You would think their blood. There's would something be bad. there. Oh, oh, hidden behind the tree. There was something there, yeah. What is Look that? Look at this guy, he's breathing fire. I'm fighting fire with fire. What, is he a lobster? A <laughs> lobster? <laughs> I believe he's a dog. I, think, I believe he's Cerberus. There's three, there's oh, I couldn't tell what that was. It looked like a cooked lobster. Three -headed dog. Or a cooked lobster. Oh, don't touch that stuff. Well, it's the guy, he shoots spikes that are barely visible. Oh, uh, there was a, like lava or something. No, he shoots spikes and you can barely see them, which oh, is kind of okay. annoying. Uh, oh, I don't have. Oh my God! I gotta keep switching. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna call this episode "Looking at Menus" because that's what we're doing. Half the run times are gonna be looking at this freaking menu, changing. Okay. What's it like looking at the uh, Sam's Number Three menu? It's a giant <sighs> menu. Which one? Breakfast. Sam's, oh, Sam's Number, number three. three. Yeah. Jeez. Sam's it's like a number book of a menu. Sam's number three is a restaurant in Denver that has a really extensive menu. And just breakfast. I guess we could have said Cheesecake Factory if we wanted to be more relatable to people outside of Denver. But you know what? Fuck it. You guys got Google. You can look up what Sam's number three. Plus, we always talk about Denver restaurants, right? Or yeah, like, every so often we throw something. I was like, my favorite restaurant is Denver Biscuit Company. And she's like, oh, all they serve there is biscuits. And I'm like, I know. That's why it's so good. And she's like, I don't want to eat there. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, how much biscuits can you eat? It's God. like the worst place to go if you're on a diet because there's literally no healthy options there. It's like, do you want a biscuit covered in syrup or do you want a biscuit covered in gravy? It's like, I don't know. I guess a biscuit covered it's in like, gravy. So you want it sweet or you want it savory? <laughs> and your biscuits are thick. Oh, I like me a You hear that, biscuits. ladies? Thick mm -hmm. biscuits. If it could be said that a land Real girth in them. Could be an accurate account of dark Gotta meat. open that mouth wide for those biscuits, man. Oh my god. <laughs> Nothing sexier than a lady <laughs> eating a biscuit. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god, what is that? A mole rat? Yeah, it's some kind of mole rat. I can actually suck their blood too. It's it's Oof. something. I think it's supposed to look scary, but it <laughs> looks less scary, more just like pretty uh, ugly. Looks very um, like Nightmare on Elm Street. What is that, Tim Burton-esque? 
Tim Burton? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's some kind of creature you would have imagined up. Whoa, he's got long arms. Oh, yeah. These, I always thought they were horses. I think they were like some kind of wolf men. But I always thought they looked like Werewolf. horses to me. Magic seized and shifted. I watched the dome of energy oh, you're surrounded. Expanded. Yeah, the axes oh. are the way to go in this game, my friends. If you're like, what's the best weapon? You just get the axes and do the spin move, and it just takes out. Good takes for him. Smoke. He doesn't get dizzy and throws up. Yeah, right? Yeah. It's like you've never seen that in a movie or something where someone's intimidating or like Braveheart where they pull out axes and just spin around in a circle. <laughs> Not be very intimidating. They're like, what's he doing? And it's like, oh, that's Fred. That's his way of fighting. He spins around in a circle. You like my uh, a like, helicopter move? You like my Scottish accent from Braveheart? Yeah, it's great. That's no. Fred. Free. You're like, you can take our land, but you can never take our freedom. Oh my god, Braveheart. Talk about a movie that's been, like, I guess lost the time. Um, I think when people were no longer happy with Mel Gibson, they're like, well, this movie is no longer uh, a movie we'll watch. I mean, it's still a good movie. But just ignore the fact that he's in it and he directed it and he won an award for it. <laughs> yeah, he won like three Oscars for it. Uh, I, well, I would say, all right, yeah, it's like your thoughts about Mel Gibson aside. Um, I think that the soundtrack was really, really good for that movie. That was James Horner, and man, his, he did Yeah, like, it's a beautiful soundtrack. Yeah, he really knocked it out of the park with that soundtrack, in my opinion. I used to be like really into movie soundtracks. I still listen to them every once in a while. Yeah, there was quite a few that I did enjoy very much. I was trying to collect some of them okay what's your favorite soundtrack go what's my favorite is soundtrack that one or i know because the thing is i also was doing uh not just like the symphony i was collecting like soundtracks to movies that oh. had really great songs twilight soundtrack jay was a twilight head she's like i gotta get the soundtrack yeah the soundtrack was better than the movie because there was a lot of good indie songs and then there was a like Garden State. That was that was pretty good too. Which was better, the book or the movie? When it comes to Twilight, I guess the book. It's always the case most of the time. That the book is much better because there's more details. Yeah, I agree. Book, uh, a movie. They always have to cut corners and they speed things up and they'll change stuff. The sex scenes in the book for Twilight were much better. <laughs> yeah, like get uh, Edward's vampire penis out and he's it was like, glittering yeah like glittering <laughs> glittering I glittered <laughs> under the full moon <laughs> yeah this, this is vampire talk so during vampire games we only do vampire talk that's why we're talking about twilight what if a vampire's penis vibrated they would be the most popular with the ladies right yeah like, oh, did you get some of that vampire dick it vibrated they're like oh this is amazing the best sex of my life it's like he was really cold but his dick vibrated so you know what <laughs> Where am I going? Do I have a map? Well, don't they have like condoms have that through. have like this icy sensation? Ooh, vampire condoms. <laughs> I would have loved it <laughs> if after Twilight, or it was missed opportunity that um, the brand Trojan did not take advantage of Twilight to uh, have vampire condoms, right? Like glittery and cold. Yeah, glittery, cold condoms, and it could be like pretend like your lover is Edward. Funk. Always stiff because he's a stiff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say. Um, do you think that another like movie could be that popular as Twilight, like amongst like teenage girls? Because I don't think there has been one since that. People tried to get like another Twilight. I think they were trying to do that. But do you think they could hit that mark again where they're like, this is another Twilight? Well, I mean, she tried to do it like, well, I guess hers was like a series, so it just kept going. Uh, but she had the host too. Oh, yeah. And I then there was, was like Korean Divergent. Movie. Right? Those series of movies, Divergent. It was a series yeah. of books too. That was like an attempt, yeah. That was like, um, oh yeah, there was, okay, so there was like the Hunger Games, there was Harry yeah. Potter, everyone's trying to get that next movie, and there was a lot of failed attempts, like you said, Divergent, to be the next of that, the thing is, like, that, that YA. Divergent and Hunger Games were like for older 
Because Harry Potter starts off at a very young age. Like, I don't know how old he was. Yeah, Ar or Aragon was an attempt to do Harry Potter. That was part of, like, the, we need to make our own Harry Potter. Aragon? Yeah. Well, I mean, not exactly Harry Potter, but it's like that young adult fantasy that is that There same... was a lot of... Yeah, they yeah were I bet to you if you listen to the soundtrack, it was probably very similar. And, you know, there was a movie. Oh, my God. We were watching... Um, Okay, so this door is closed. You can only go in this door on a full moon. No, you go in this door later. Okay, that's not the one that's only open on full moon. You got to kill yeah. some people first, and then that door opens. A tower stood in the distance. From its apex, we can't see the it. Vortex of yeah. That Where's this tower? There it is. Oh, okay. Oh. The lands below. It looks very uh, Lord of the Rings, like the eye. Yeah. Did I mention, I think I mentioned it in one of the previous episodes that, so Dennis Dyack, the guy who did this game, kind of the, I don't know how much of it he wrote and how much of it was written by someone else on his team, um, which I can't remember his name, but he's like, he was the main guy at Silicon Knights and kind of the creative director of this game. Um, so he got the idea from Ken Follett's Pillars of the Earth, which he did not oh, read, yeah. but think saw the title it. and the cover. And so he was just like, oh, this looks interesting. And from the title and the cover, got the idea of the Pillars of Nazgoth, which was the original title of this game. And I just thought that was interesting because he's like, I didn't, I'm not going <laughs> to read this book, but I'm going to use it I don't to care about reading it. I don't care what's it about. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I don't know what, I've never read that book either. Um, I mean, either. It's, it's a I've series. I've the cover, so I know what cover they're talking about that like has the pillars. Um, so there's, I don't think there's anything I think really I've seen the cover because so we used to in. have to book in the library. And it's a series, and then they made a TV show, if I'm not mistaken, or a mini series on TV. Oh, have you been watching The Wheel of Time? It's so good. Just kidding, I've not been watching it. <laughs> I we should, because <laughs> we're big fans of what Brendan, Brandon Sanderson, and the he took over that series. He finished it for Robert Jordan when he passed away. Yeah, he did what two or three books, or I forget how many books he did into it. It's a long series too. Talking about pff, series, yeah. that's a real long one. Yeah, that's got to be a challenge, man. I don't even know to take on a challenge like that to be like this author. He died and we wanted to finish the series, so you're in charge of it. It's like, man, that Yeah, that's be... a lot of pressure. Yeah. I just, I can't imagine from the fans. I wouldn't and... want to be in his shoes. I mean, it's uh, an honor, but I mean, geez. he agreed to do it, so he didn't have to because he was already an established author at that time. Right. But it's also sometimes when I see books written by like two people and one person's like really famous and the other person isn't, I'm like, uh, I think the other person did most of the writing. Like James Patterson? Yeah, like um, The String was out. written by Guillermo del Toro and Chuck Hogan. I'm like, I don't think Guillermo del Toro wrote that much of his book. I predict that it was mostly Chuck Hogan. He probably didn't have time to anyway. Which I don't know what else Chuck Hogan wrote. Um, or it's like, yeah, there was one, well talking about James Patterson, he did a book with Bill Clinton and I'm like, I'm pretty sure Bill Clinton didn't really write that much of this book. <laughs> Where did he have the time to write? Right? It's like he's not a writer, really. Oh, my God, go down. Uh, I guess I should have turned invisible. That would have been easier. Ah, uh, do things the hard way. You're on the spikes. <laughs> that is weird. Nothing's happening. Um, oh, you were talking about a movie that you saw. And you didn't Eight finish that sentence. A movie I saw. I saw 8 Big Christmas yesterday. No, was... I don't know what it was you were talking about. You were talking about something that was related to what we were talking about. About vampires? Maybe. I don't know. I uh, guess it doesn't matter. I don't know. <laughs> we, were, we were talking about the Gorius movie, which you died No, that was way after. Uh, <laughs> I, was, I saw a movie called Dragon Heart Vengeance, which. I, I forget do, it. I want to do a series about all the Dragon Heart movies, because um, they did a lot of. Oh, oh, I was just far enough away from that spiky ball. Yeah, because they've close. done a lot of straight to video Dragon Heart movies, and I wonder like why and what's going on there. The Universal's like, I guess we'll just keep doing the series, but straight to uh, video. There must have been some watch time there. I guess so. The some popularity. His laboratory. Inside was all manner the of laboratory. Pickled bodies, dissected pickled corpses, bodies. Mmm, <laughs> yum! Some pickled <laughs> bodies, <laughs> like pickled <laughs> eggs, or. I sensed more than one force being manipulated in this place. But yeah, Dragonheart was one of my favorite movies, which was like a. To work with others. They even have a Dragonheart game. We should play that for the PS One. PS One, really? Like I keep getting, I keep walking around and getting. Oh my god, I'm out of magic. No wonder, oh, no wonder shit's hitting the fan. Uh. Do you think if shit actually hit a fan, someone would say, oh, that's when shit hit the fan? And also be like, that is fucking disgusting. <laughs> yeah, it would be a terrible mess there. 
Like, imagine. <laughs> wow, I cannot oh. see these stupid. Yeah, it's rules. hard to see. I'm, I You're walking walk pretty much into, into them. One. God, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Die. Whoa, there's okay, another one. I need my heart of darkness. <laughs> that was so I hope close. you guys were uh, like, oh, yeah. turn this on to be like, oh, this is going to be a no hit playthrough. And then I'm just kidding. Have you ever seen the people who do playthroughs that are like fucking amazing and do like a, a game and don't get hit once? This is not one of those. No, we're definitely not one of those. I guess I should use the... I've seen some of it. Yeah, it's pretty I, I've, amazing. Well, what's crazy is when you see people play like... Um, like the Simpsons arcade game with no hits because those are arcade games or Ninja Turtles arcade game Because uh, yeah. those games are designed to Have you keep putting in quarters so they're almost unfair in the way you get hit a lot of times and have to fight the the guys and like The way people do it without getting hit. I'm like wow. I you do, must have I, really really played a lot Was I I try to figure out it's been edited. Oh, uh, sometimes they do that. Oh, well, there was a thing if you get into the world of speed running, where people um, do like you know a speed run of like how fast can I get through Super Mario or whatever. Yeah, I wonder if a lot, some of it's edited, like just to look like they did do a, a speed run or whatever. There's um they don't do edited, but they've done what's called tool assisted speed runs or tool assisted. So what it is is it's like they're not actually playing the game. They 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 programmed the. Um, a script to run through the Mario game and one of the most famous um, there was like a famous Mario Brothers 3 um, playthrough that someone did it like super super fast and it turned out it wasn't an actual person playing it was like a script that was programmed oh really and in an emulator you can like rewind and, and do stuff and they programmed a script which also in a way is kind of impressive um, okay as a programmer that's still pretty impressive because that still took a lot of time um, interesting but then there's like fake speedrunners who will play footage from other speedrunners. That became a big oh, that's thing because, theft. yeah, speedrunners became because oh, I got poisoned. Poison. We went to a hockey game and they played that song, right? Poison. No, they didn't play that one. They no, played, I don't think it was that one. They played the one that's like it takes two to make a thing go right. <laughs> they played all kinds <laughs> takes, of weird stuff. Like they they played Jock Jams 2001 or something. <laughs> that was before 2001. That was like 90s. No, Jock Jams from the 90s. It takes two to make a thing go right. <laughs> it takes two to make it out of sight. This is a I want to rock right now. Big laboratory. Yeah. These guys. These guys are no good. It's like no one is good. I think we talked about this in another episode. No one is good in this. Kane is not good. These guys from the Circle of Nine are not good. Borodor is not good. Everyone's just bad guys torturing people and and and. I mean, being, it's that kind of world. Yeah. Is that like our world where no one is good? These Ooh. people tied up to the walls are victims. Unless they really like this yeah, kinky stuff. Yeah, these guys stuff. got the worst, the short end of the stick to be just chained to Maybe a wall. Maybe they didn't like this kinky stuff. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, oh, don't suck my blood. Oh, yeah, don't. Yeah, don't, don't do it. But yeah, we like it secretly. Oh Was it like god. those elves from that SNL skit? Oh my god. That, that they like hilarious. being punished with Literally. paddles and stuff? <laughs> like, elves, did you do... Did you make my Christmas presents? And they're like, no, punish us, Santa. We've been so bad. That was, like right? that was such Bayer a weird skit. Yeah. It's like, who came up with that one? Oh that my was God. So, and it was uh, repeated a few times. Like, oh, of course, different ways, but. Well, every Christmas, I yeah. feel like they had to go to skit. Yeah, it was. Um, so the thing that sucks about this game kinky. is when you run out of the magic power because the spells are the way to go. Oh my god. And then when you run out, I need a magic orb. Is there a magic orb? Oh, but here is blood vials. Look how big magic my blood orb. vial is getting there. Oh my god, it's so big. Those it's female so vampires long. are going to be like, Kane. You it's got so to... long. Like, oh my god, it's such a big blood vial. Oh my god, you must have such a tiny dick. <laughs> <laughs> Compensating for something. I guess I should switch to the axes if I'm not going to use magic. Because the these are the best weapons. The only bad thing is you can't use magic. Double X. Oh yeah, the axes. Start the spin cycle. Oh yeah. I want to rock right now. He's got his back to you. Oh, JD okay. and I were listening to some 90s music before that. We were trying to remember the words to It's Been One Week. Because he is a very good rapper, right? I would say Bare Naked Ladies, Notorious B.I.G., uh, Tupac, best rappers from the 90s, right? <laughs> I mean, I didn't really listen to too much rap I'm in the 90s. I mean, 
I guess like there were some good ones. I would suppose. The rap um, from the 90s? I well, would say Tupac be- Shakur. He's really good at. He was. Totally good, underrated. No one talks about him being a good rapper, right? He was a good poet. He was really good because I read um, his book. He wrote a book? Yeah. Oh. I mean, it was just a collection of poetry. But oh, it was really, really good. What you was know it called? Who? A Rose Grows Out of Concrete or something like that? Oh, really? Yeah, it's a really good a poetry oh, book. Oh, look at that. I was being a smartass, and look. I yeah, George, such a smartass. I was being a fucking smartass. You know who's good um, lyricist that I like um, is uh, Leonard Cohen. Yeah, I was thinking you were gonna say that. Oh my god. He should let other people sing though. Well, he's is he? You don't still like alive? his singing voice? No, he's passed away. Yeah, that's what he I thought. He passed away years ago. Um, that's what I thought. His voice is terrible. I heard there was a secret code. But he sounds like he's bored. Like he's not happy. That's his style, man. Uh-huh. Yeah. He was actually one of those um, singers who became famous or released his, cer- cer- his first album at an older age. Like, older age for, like, a singer. Um, I remember that they mentioned that. It was, like, in his 30s when he released his first album, which is old be- for, like, a singer because most of them start in their 20s or whatever. Yeah, that's and true. They, I mean... You know, they start young and then get older or whatever, but... He actually started at a later age, which I thought was kind of cool. That's different. So he's kind of like a little bit uh, he was more experienced season. or something. Kind of yeah. like us. We're starting a Let's Play at a super old age compared <laughs> to some people. Super old. Speak yeah, for yourself, no, man. No, no. You're, you're only as old as you feel. Yeah. Also, here you got a choice. You can either get the armor or the spell rack spell. Wow, that's some interesting concept art. Yeah, they got some cool art in this game, I would say. They should have did like a concept art book. Oh, maybe they did. Sell it. That was like a big thing I remember with the Final Fantasy games. Because you remember yeah, in Final Fantasy, true, art books. part of the big thing was the enemy designs. Um, that, that was like the big selling point was like, oh, check out like these cool, Flesh like you would get like uh, summons and you'd see Shiva and there'd be like a minute animation of... Shiva coming out and and destroying uh, your enemies and stuff like that. So that was always cool. Well, I think well, it's like I'm not talking about like the CGI art, but like the concept art because they gotta draw it first and you know come up with the concept. And I've seen some of it for like uh, Final Fantasy, and it's really nice. Oh yeah, they they really went all out. Are you dead? Yes. You okay, got him. You poisoned me. Uh, what a motherfucker. You <laughs> motherfucker. Yippee-ki-yay, <laughs> motherfucker. We should watch uh, Die Hard for Christmas. The Christmas movie? Yeah, we watched 8-Bit Christmas. I have they were asking that, that right? One of the kids was like, is yeah. Die? you think Die Hard is a Christmas movie? Because he was the kid that got to see R-rated, R-rated movies. R-rated movies. <laughs> Did you get to see? You were the kid that got to see R-rated movies because you said you saw Nightmare on Elm yeah, when you were like some. three years old. Three years old. I wouldn't remember that. Yeah, you were like, "Hey, mommy, take me to see Nightmare on Elm Street," and then you saw it and you were like, I'm "Yeah, not that sounds like me." Sleep for a hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> hundred years. Yeah, and then now we see you. You finally got to sleep a hundred years later. Time about old. Oh yeah, JD and I are both a hundred. I don't know if we mentioned that or not. <laughs> we, our voice sounds We're so playing, young. Oh uh, yeah. Do you, is there something that makes your voice sound older? No, you just. What are you talking about? Like, why do old people <laughs> have old people voices? That doesn't make sense. Right? You age. Your larynx li- ages. Your, you know, everything ages. Does your, in your voice body. change with ages? Well, it's like puberty. Your voice tr- starts to change. Oh yeah, it's true. I was like, yeah. You probably are like, oh, 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 oh. Hey, Sandra, will you go with me to the dance? Will you take me to prom? Like that. You would never ask anybody to prom, you shy little shit. <laughs> hey, Sandra, do you want to go to prom with me? You I didn't care about that Sandra. shit. I went to prom with Sandra. Who the, who the fuck is Sandra? Uh, my other wife. <laughs> I fly to uh, New Mexico where I have another wife. New Mexico? That's where I grew up in New Mexico. <laughs> <laughs> You're just weaving a dumbass story, George. Oh my god. You know I you're got from the, Michigan. I got the, uh, oh yeah, from Detroit. Detroit. Detroit basketball. That's what we would say in basketball games. Huh? I don't know why. <laughs> Detroit basketball? Yeah. Okay. 
And then what else is there in Detroit? Well, if you go to Detroit, you got to get your Coney dogs. I'm pandering to people from Detroit. Go check out the Detroit Zoo, their Arctic Circle exhibit. Um, uh, you could go to Windsor, get yourself a beer when you're 19. What are you, like a tourist info desk person? All right, what's the tourist info for Detroit? I would say you got to go to Henry Ford Museum. I mean, you just did a bunch of it, George. Check out a Red Wings game. Um... You go downtown and go ice skating. And I forgot what that's called because they didn't have that. Oh, when you're I was really a kid. good at it because <laughs> they didn't have that when I was a kid. That's something they added later. The ice skating downtown. They fixed up downtown because I was a kid. Yeah, I go downtown. Uh, I only been downtown like once or twice oh, as a kid. Of the Not the place to go. Yeah, I don't know that they really had much. It was kind of more abandoned and like they fixed that shit up. Um, but we're gonna talk more about Detroit in the next episode. Our next episode is gonna be thirty yeah, minutes of Detroit talk. Yeah, they definitely want yeah. some of that. Yeah. All right, we'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. You're still here? Well, you might as well subscribe. Okay, you can go now.